All right, welcome to part four on the $500 abandoned boat build. So you guys know, I picked this thing up for 500 bucks. It was a complete disaster. Go check out the first video if you want to see what it looked like before. But uh, last video, we ended where we got this boat primed and uh, ready for paint. So we're gonna start off by painting this thing. We've got our spray gun here. This is nice because it's electric and uh, doesn't require thinning of the paint. And we're using this Rust-Oleum topside paint in Battleship Gray. So it should look pretty good, I would think. For the primer, we used this Rust-Oleum primer, oil-based primer, right here. Industrial strength. So hopefully that works out well. And this paint lasts a long time, but let's get going with the paint and see what this looks like. We've got everything taped off, so everything should be good. There's a primer on this right here. I want to open that cap up like that. And then you want to just hold it down. To get all the air out. that and it should spread yep Ah, uh, seems like it's dripping a little bit. That's the first coat. I don't know if I like using the spray gun. We 
might just roll it on. Alright, first coat is done. The sprayer was putting too much paint on and it was dripping everywhere. So we are going to go with a different sprayer. I have to go and buy a different one. I think we're going to go with an air sprayer. Because right now it's it's smooth with the roller but not, not extremely smooth. So I might have to do three coats depending on how smooth it comes out. Alright, while we're letting the paint dry here, let's work on the trailer lights. You can see that lens is broken. I don't think this one works at all either. This one I think was working. But you can see it's missing the lens. Over here, that one looks decent right there. Don't think it was working though. And that one was not working. So we'll make sure, we'll confirm. We'll get this thing hooked up. We'll see what lights are working and whatnot, but most of them were not working when we picked this thing up. All right, we've got the truck running. Doesn't look like any of the lights are working here. Let's just see if the brake lights are working. Yeah, we have nothing. None of the lights are working. Let's see if we just wiggle these around a little bit. Let's see if the bulbs are burnt out. Uh, nope, those aren't burnt out. Just not working at all. Huh. Wonder if the ground's bad trailer right here. Yeah, none of the lights are working. It's oh, nope. That one's missing the bulb <laughs> altogether. So that one's definitely not working. All right, that bulb just broke right off. Barely push on it. Broke right off of there. All right, let's see if the voltmeter picks up anything. Alright, we got that light working, that's the new one. And then we got this light working. Let's see if the blinker works here. Alright, 
that's working pretty good. Right, let's get this one off of here. It's just bolts in the back. So we've got yellow, which is for the blinker. And we've got brown, which is positive going in to all the lights. And you've got this brown. This brown leads back up to the other light. So we need these two to be connected for the light on the front of the trailer to work. So, what we're going to do is connect brown with brown, yellow with yellow, and then white actually gets grounded to the frame, which we'll do. So, let's drill these holes first. Let's see, I think this one I might actually work here. Just going to drill studs are in there. That goes like that. So we'll connect these up first. And yellow with the yellow. and then white will be ground. Crimp that down. This goes in here. Push these in a little bit more into the trailer here. See if that works here. And it's not working. So the brown goes to the brown. Yellow to yellow. There we go. The ground wasn't touching. All right, let's get this one off. So again, this one only had the one, and it's supposed to be grounded out right here, which it wasn't doing. So that's why that light wasn't working either. So what we're gonna do, cut this brown wire right here. This one's going to go to the yellow wire on the new one. Those two together. This one's going to go to ground.
that, that one's working. So now all the lights are working. Trailer lights are fixed. The main problem was the ground coming from the frame to the other part of the frame. So I just did a ground wire right here with white wire. All right, so we got a new Speedo because the wire up here broke off of it. You can see it used to attach it right there. So we need to get this one off of here and the new one on. Hopefully the bolt holes are in the same spot. Got this off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. So I can just go right there with it. Yeah, it's gonna line up perfectly. We're gonna caulk these holes. Vinny decided to show up. He's sniffing it out. What do you think about that, Vin? He's like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you can already tell. All right, you guys uh, used the wrong kind of caulk, so we're gonna get some silicone sealant, specifically for marine use. You can see, there's a boat right there. <laughs> so hopefully this stuff will work. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the hole here. There's a hole right there too. Cover that one up. while we're in here. All right, it's a couple days later. We just wrapped the whole boat in plastic so we don't get any overspray on anything. So the whole boat is wrapped up, engine's wrapped up, everything's nice and tight, and we're ready to spray. Trailer's all covered, everything is good to go. So we ended up going to Harbor Freight and getting a paint gun. This is the one I got. We're using the bigger one today. And I got this one because you can control the spray, how much air is let in, and um, the spray pattern as well. So, it's pretty nice. And you can adjust the nozzle up here for which way you want the spray. And then the small one you can use as well, a small canister for uh, touch-ups. So, we've got the big paint thing right here. On this one, you do have to thin out the paint a little bit. We have some acetone and some mineral spirits, where is it? Or paint thinner, right here. 
and with paint thinner, if you thin the paint with paint thinner, it will dry a little bit slower. If you do it with acetone, it'll dry right away when you spray it. So I'm not really sure which to go with. I'm thinking probably paint thinner, just to give us a little time. It is pretty hot out. It's about 80 degrees today. So I'm thinking we'll do it with paint thinner. Uh, we got some mixers right here to mix everything. And then we got some more cups here. Those are for the paint guns. And then what else did we get? We got something else. Respirator and then these filters. So with this type of paint gun, you want to filter all your paint so that you don't get a clog in there. All right, max PSI for this gun specifically is 40 PSI. So we put our dial to 40 PSI, you can see. This one is set to whatever, so we can pump it all the way up. Then as it uses it, it will only push in 40 PSI max through the hose into the gun. So what we're gonna do to dilute it is uh, do 16 ounces right here. Then 10% of 16 is 1.6. So we'll add right up to about that mark of paint thinner to this bucket. Dump both together, mix it up. Put that in the spray can and uh, we'll be on our way. All right, we're using this top side paint again. Just gonna do a little shake on it. All right, open this guy up. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, pour 16 ounces in here. Right about there. And we'll dump this in. Exactly 16 ounces. Going into the big bucket. And then we're going to pour in about a little less than that line where the 50 milliliter mark is. Getting it everywhere. <laughs> So paint thinner going into the big bucket. We're gonna take our stir, stir that up. So there's a chemical reaction taking place right now, so you wanna make sure you stir it long enough. See how it's dripping like that? It's about perfect. Looks really good. And it was the perfect amount. Twist on your cap.
All right, the whole boat is covered. Barely took any paint to do the whole thing. I ended up diluting it a lot more. Probably double what it needed. So probably 20%, 25%. Otherwise, the gun wouldn't work, wouldn't spray. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Did the back. I wish I wouldn't have used the roller because it would be really, really smooth. I think what we might do is do one more coat to get it really smooth and all the imperfections out. But that spray worked pretty good. Not too bad. But we'll pick up tomorrow when this thing dries. It takes 24 hours to dry. All right, while we're letting the paint dry for the second coat, we've got this Lawrence Graph I just bought. It's only like 125 bucks. Um, it'll be fine for this boat, but uh, we're gonna install this today. You can see in the box, you've got the instructions here and how to use it. Um, you've got the cables, back of the boat. We'll have to replace the one that's on there already. We've got the fuse and the mounting bolts for the bracket right here. That's to mount the graph. And then you've got the graph here. And you've got the mounting bracket for the transducer that we have to put on. So these wires go to the battery. This goes to the back of the boat, the transducer. This goes up by me, and then the graph mounts to that. All right, now this one's gonna cover up that. See if that's a good position for it. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna route the cable to the back of it. All right, old one coming off. Let's hold on to this one screw in here. Now I've gotta drill two new holes here.
We shove that in there. Alright, so the two wires here, looks like this one's positive, this one's negative. If you guys can see the voltmeter, we're getting 12.45 volts. So, this one's going to be hooking up to the positive size, positive side of the fuse here. Adding a 5 amp fuse to it. Alright, let's see what happens here. There we go. It's working. Well, you guys can see that you're not. This is a simulation. These are fish right here. Let's see if you click the fish button. So we'll have to play around with this, but at least it's working. All right, we've got the old anchor here. We're just gonna quick wire brush it and paint it. We're just using what we use for the inside of the boat. Stuff's pretty tough. Nice part about gravel, you can just paint right on it and it won't do anything.
looks pretty good. Then the other graphic didn't come, but it's going to say Aluminacraft right here. All right, paint is done, graphics are done. Just cleaned it out again. Everything looks pretty good. Got the graph on. Got gas in it, 50 to one mix. We're gonna see if it fires up today. And then we're going to attempt to ride this thing. <laughs> Take it for the first, first ride see how she goes but uh, let's first see if she fires up before we go in the water we also have to register it Alright, all set to go.
engine sounds really good. Looks like we're tight. No leaking at all. All right, we don't have Wi-Fi out here or 4G, so I'm trying to find out how to turn this off as simulation mode. I haven't found out how to do it yet, so we're, we're still working on that. Um, let's test out the live well, see if the pump works. Let's see if it pumps in. Here we go. It's trying. That's cool. Everything tight back there. Look at that. That's working. Let's see if our drain works. That's working. Cool. All right, we finally got this thing to work. Um, to get it off of simulator mode, you hold down the power button until it turns back on, and it will get you to the settings. And then you just scroll down to simulator, and then click off. So that took me a while to figure out. Just kind of had to be. I was just kind of pushing buttons, <laughs> but we finally got it. So we're out on the lake right now. I think, like, I think what we're gonna go do. Let's see how fast this thing can go first.
see if we can get in these weeds here. Little bass. Well, maiden voyage went better than expected. Not a single week on this thing, which I was expecting. Everything was working great. We got the graph working good. Live well was working. We even caught a fish, so was not a bad first ride. The engine at the end, I was going full speed with this thing and all of a sudden a beeping came on. It was a steady beep that just continued so I think it was overheating. Um, and then it started running on one cylinder so I did see a steady stream of water out of here so I think we followed the plug probably. And when I first picked up this boat there's about 10 spark plugs in here, so I'm wondering if uh, he had a problem with following plugs on this thing, which could very well be. But uh, that was the only issue. So we're going to try some new plugs in it and see if that fixes it. But otherwise, it ran great, got up to speed, had lots of power, started right up, and everything was good. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think it was definitely worth it. Looks like Vin likes it too. We'll have to go with Vin in a little bit. Next time you can go, buddy. <laughs> time you can go. Okay? But yeah, this boat is pretty much done. I'm going to get a couple more graphics for it. And uh, she'll be finished up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the series on this thing. It was a lot of work, but... Um, I think the end result was definitely worth it. It was great taking it out for the first time. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video, and until next time, we are out.